one of the principles of Lean and Six Sigma is to start with the customer. And you can do this on an existing uh, process or product. You can also do this when you're doing design for Six Sigma and so on. And th this is kind of the nuts and bolts, kind of the core of even what we would consider to be quality function deployment. And so we'd use the voice of the customer matrix. Now in the QI macros, <clears throat> We can go over and select from our planning tools, voice of the customer matrix. And here you can see that along the left hand side you're going to put in your customer requirements. And I always say customers want you to be better, faster, and cheaper. And under customer requirements you want to put things like what they really say. Treat me like you want my business. Deliver products that meet my needs. Products that work right. Be accurate. Be right the first time. You know, I want it to be easy to use. Fix it right the first time. If it breaks, you know, don't don't make me fix it a thousand times. Uh, I want it when I want it, not when you can deliver it. All right, so meet your commitments and make commitments that meet my needs. I want fast, easy access to help and don't waste my time. You know, um, timeliness is really a big deal for me. And if it breaks, fix it fast. All right, deliver irresistible value. Think about me. Help me save money. Help me save time. Uh, help me reduce the cost to own or use this thing. And then across the top, we're going to lay out all the major uh, processes that go in here from a value stream map. Think about the big, the big boxes up there. And then we're going to work out the detail. And then along this vertical column, we're going to have customers rank the importance of each one of these. And then we're going to relate these things to our uh, to what we're actually doing. So treat me like you want my business. What is that going to do? And you can use one, two, four, one, two, three, four, five, whatever you want to use to show the interaction here. And then down at the bottom, you'll start to get a total weight. So we need to that'll help us figure out where we ought to spend all of our time. So let's take an example. If we think about healthcare. You know, it's like, help me get well. Help us stay well. Help me minimize the cost of getting well. Help protect my assets. Help me save time. Don't make me do a lot of things. In the emergency department, we might be doing triage and diagnosis and treating. In the lab, we might be doing blood micro U or UA. Imaging, you know, we might take an image, then we have to read about it, and then we have to report about it. We have to report the lab work. And in nursing, you know, we now have to monitor the patient, medicate them, do whatever needs doing. We might have to do things like deliver meals. And then we want to rate and rank these things in relationships. So, uh, you know, help me get well. Well, tr triage, diagnosis, test um, is probably pretty high. And some of the blood tests and some of the imaging may help. And keep taking care of me in the nursing unit is going to be right up there, too. And I want these things to be right. Okay, so if I get the wrong blood test or the wrong imaging test, guess what? I'm going to end up being uh, treated, you know, it, for things that I don't really have. All right. And so th this gives you some idea about how to start laying this out. First, you lay out the customer requirements. Then you lay off out the various, in this case, processes above. And down here you can start to see that we're starting to pile up what the, the big hitters are and the little hitters. And so what we want to do is find ways to relate what the customer wants with how we provide it and see what's important. And then we really want to tune those up because that's where we're going to maximize customer satisfaction. And that's the power of using this particular tool, the voice of the customer. Now we could also, you'll notice that this is very similar. Uh, in effect to the quality function house of deployment. Customer requirements are over here and then we have groups of criteria across the top and then we'd fill these out and relate them to competitors across various uh, things and we'll talk about that in another in another uh, session. So that's the voice of the customer matrix and what it really does is force people to talk to each other and to sit down and figure out what's important and what we should do about and how should, how we should focus our improvements to maximize the customer's perception of it. Now it could be an external customer, 
It could be our internal customer. If it's our internal customer, we could get them right in there to do it. You know, and even collecting customer requirements from external customers, they're always going to tell you when they're talking to you. All right, so just capture those, those things that you've heard and write them down in their language, not yours. And that will give you a good voice of the customer. And again, this template is part of the QI Macros for Excel, and you can download a 30-day trial at qimacros.com.